right guys, so a bit of an impromptu video here. Um, I wasn't expecting to do anything along these lines, but I figured, you know what, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Maybe this will help the community out. I have a rattle in the 91 vert. And what this, where I get this rattle is, say I'm sitting on the driveway, emergency brake on, idling away, no foot on the clutch, nothing, rev the car up, and I get this almost like exhaust shield style rattle, which it obviously can't be. I've got mag and flow cap back on it, H pipe, headers, like there's no exhaust shields rattling. So further diagnosis brought me to the point where I put my foot just on the top of the clutch, call it like eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, just cover the clutch and I would, the, the noise would go away. So I'm like, oh no, maybe throw out bearing, I'm not sure. Anyway, get the car on the hoist, pull the inspection cover off the T5 and I'll link you over to the video and show you exactly what was going on here. All right, so based on seeing that video, you can probably assume where I'm at otherwise. Drive shafts out, H pipes out, cat backs hanging, and the transmission is loose. I'm just getting ready to pull it here now. So I won't bore you with the whole pulling the transmission. I mean, that's a kind of a video in itself, but I mean, for a quick overview, obviously unhook everything, take your speedo cable out, unhook your connectors, pull the drive shaft, pull your H pipe, unbolt your transmission, loosen your cross member, and down it comes. So what I'll do is once I get the transmission out, I'll bring you back under here with me and we'll kind of inspect what's going on together. All right, so T5's out and you can see right away we got some issues going on here. So this is the T5 input shaft retainer. It's all kind of one piece here that bolts to the T5. I have like ridges that have been worn in this input shaft retainer and this shaft should be smooth all the way along. It should look like this all the way out into here. It should not look ridged and dimpled like that. So I think what happened was, I'll take you underneath the car and show you, but essentially your throat bearing slides on this shaft and it seized up and was banging around and rattling grooves right into this shaft. And then in turn, the rattle I was hearing was coming off of, well, it was reverberating through my clutch fork and then banging around on the T5 desk cover. But here's actually what was going on inside is, so this is your throw out bearing right here. And I changed this when I changed the clutch. So I did all this last summer. You're supposed to have a, a slight amount of grease on that shaft, that input shaft retainer, which I did. I just, I won't know until I get this um, clutch fork out of here, but I think this bearing seized and uh, well, it's kind of weird how it's sitting in here too. It seems to be sitting off to one side. I don't know what that's all about, but like I say, I'll get that clutch fork out of there and, and see what's going on. Well, yeah, it was the release bearing or the throw out bearing. Check this out. That should not have any rattle in it whatsoever. Here's versus a new one, right? They're solid, okay? It's actually, it's, it's quite tight to even turn, but yeah, that rattle that you can hear, there should be no movement in there. So that was just banging around on that input shaft retainer and you can see the grooves inside of there, creating just absolute havoc. So there's the culprit, bad throat bearing. And this thing's maybe got I don't know, 300 miles on it, 400 miles at most. This was a brand new throw out bearing. And it caused me all kinds of grief and money. So I actually just talked to my buddy too. He's got a new input shaft retainer. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because as I showed you earlier, it's completely had, I think you can get a pretty good view of the grooves in it there. Um, there's actually like, it's so deep. There's a, there's a ridge on these deep ones. So need a new input shaft retainer and new throw out bearing. And hopefully this gets me back to the races. Okay. So transmissions back together. I got a new, new to me anyway, 
input shaft retainer. Here's a pretty good view of the one that came off it. Quite the gnarly mess. So good buddy of mine, Eric, uh, he's actually rebuilt the T5 in my green coupe for me. He got, had one of these laying around and got it for me. So this is all good, topped up the fluid. It's ready to go back in and underneath the car, we got our new release bearing. This is a, a self-centering unit. I don't know what makes the ones that aren't called self-centering not self-centering, but at any rate, this is advertised as a self-centering throwout bearing. I think it's an SKF bearing. At any rate, uh, a little bit more money than the non-self-centering one, so we'll see how this one goes. Now, the only issue that I could tell as far as what my cause was was the release bearing I had in here before just failed prematurely, like way, way prematurely. You should be able to get thousands and thousands and thousands of miles out of one of these. I mean, realistically, it should last the life of the clutch, but in my case, it was gone in, I don't know, probably 200 miles, 300 miles, maybe. So definitely a premature bearing failure. So anyway, I'm gonna get the transmission back in. We'll bolt the H pipe back up drive shaft and then uh, I'll fire it up and I'll show you guys how a smooth clutch fork should operate hopefully we don't have any vibration out of this thing like we did in the first place so stand by guys we'll get this all bolted back up and see where we're at Okay guys, car's back together. I left the dust cover off here just to kind of give you a little view of what's going on. Slight vibration, but holy Dinah, is that a lot better. And no more noise. getting a little lightheaded in there so anyway guys um, I hope that helps some of you out out there I mean uh, this was something that I didn't expect to get myself into like I started this off by saying I had a odd little rattle and I didn't know where it was coming from sounded like an exhaust shield but like I say I don't have any exhaust shields so didn't know where it was coming from and I mean from what I can tell that clutch fork was just banging around on the t5 dust cover and Obviously created all kinds of havoc. Ultimately got to end up tearing the transmission out of the car. Huge pain in the rear end, but anyway, here we are. So if you got any questions or comments, guys, by all means, please hit me up. I love helping the community. So reach out with anything you've got. If you're experiencing the same thing, I'll see if I can help you out or whatever. But uh, until next time, guys, thanks for tagging along. We'll catch you then. Take care. Bye for now.